I'm Johnny Mack. Welcome to the Wrong Way Garage. I'm Johnny Garage Johnson, and this video is about to get hardcore. Hey man, I heard you was going to do a video on square body S10s. He's got more knowledge about S10s between his ears than GM probably does on paper. Johnny. Johnny. The Chevy S10. Probably the coolest and most popular mini truck ever produced. And we had the Blazer as well as the S15. 1983, what a stellar year. We already had a standard cab, an extended cab, a short bit. So let's talk about Cyclones, Typhoons, and Sonoma GTs. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. Well, that, that would be the different interior packages. Whether Sonoma GT, which was like the baby brother. Oh, Durango, Sierra. People think of the, the second gens when you say ZQ8. Not that it really matters. If you measure from the bottom of the... That's all you got might say that the Cameo was kind of the predecessor to the Cyclone. Now the body never changed until 94 when they came out with the second gen. There was a front end upgrade in 90 because they switched from the metallic silver to the gray. It's not totally true because they were extended. And the S10 was a huge part of that. In those early years there was also a lot of... Now by no means was the S10 the smallest pickup truck on the road. But it was quite possibly the most influential mini truck on the road at that time. That community helped shape an entire culture. And then, of course, low riders. Got to add that in there. Right out, outrageous graphics. All right, well, let's start with the wheelbase, which does not apply to the S10 because GM never. Now, there seems to be a little bit of controversy on the Internet as far as the total curb weight of an S10. Of course, now this frame has been heavily modified. But that was before I started all these modifications. Rear end of that truck and weigh just the back half. Show you the weight on the front end of that truck. Yards, tires, and wheels. And a limitless amount of wheels and style. No seats, no dash, no interior. It's more like the number that you're probably... So we have 40 years worth of experience, 40 years worth of knowledge. There's a 16 inch difference between a short bed and a... Dude, it did not matter back in the day. People did it all. All right, well you see that mail truck right there? A lot of people seem to think that the first gen S10 and the second gen S10 have frames that are exactly the same. It justified its own magazine. If you're gonna cut the coil springs on your S10, let's not forget all the crazy modifications that you could do to these pickup trucks. That's pretty much what we could afford. Make your truck different from everyone else's. Keep on trucking. 